My name is Hameen Phillips. You're watching the Sticky Web Domains channel. Today, I want to talk about the final offer. So you got your final offer, but now what? Wait a minute, I think I'm upside down, ain't I? Have you ever failed? Are you listening? Damn. So you got your final offer. Great. Now you're probably wondering, so what now? Okay. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is a Twit card. You're going to want to get a Twit card because you're going to need that for most of the jobs you're going to be working on. You're probably saying, well, what is a Twit card? Well, a Twit card is more like a transportation card, something like a passport. And railroaders and transportation drivers use this car quite a bit so instead of waiting to the last minute or waiting uh, when you get to class just go get that twit card right away because they're definitely going to ask you to do it so when you receive your final offer go get a twit card Next, sometimes when they send you emails regarding your class and instructions, they usually send it as group emails. So what you can do is get an idea of some of the other students you'll be in class with. And if you're like me and you're coming from out of town, that's a good way to ask people who might also be coming out of town if they want to go half on an on a apartment with you or some way to help get your situation figured out for where you're going to live. And just find out if there's anybody else in your situation who might need a roommate or something like that. So that's a good way to reach out to other uh, students in your class and just say, hey, you know, do you have your uh, living situation figured out? If not, I'm looking for a roommate. And I was just wondering if you did too. Okay, so we got all the living situation figured out. Now let's talk about what to expect in class. So you got your final offer, you are pretty much, you're hired, but you're still not safe because now you have testing to worry about. Uh, I want to say every week or so you'll be tested on something. You'll do quizzes, there's going to be a midterm. So don't get too comfortable just yet because you don't got the job until you pass all the tests. So. One way to focus on those tests is 
think about starting a study group. Sometimes it's easier to learn, well, when you learn in a group. So get some friends together. Maybe you guys can meet at a restaurant. Maybe you can go to a bar, have a drink, and make it fun. These kind of things will help you retain the information so that you can focus on the test. I actually found myself retaining information better when I studied in a group rather than studying by myself. So, study groups. Think about it. Start one. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the supplies. You want to get the supplies that are going to help you guys remember the information. You guys are going to be flooded with new information. Terms you probably never even heard of before. So, I would suggest you get yourself some highlighters and some things for your binder to kind of keep things in different sections. And you probably want to get some sticky notes too. Sticky notes are going to definitely help you guys remember and retain that information. If you're like me and you've been out of school a long time, you're going to realize it's kind of hard to remember things. And you got to find tips and tricks that are gonna help you guys remember the best ways to remember. So, sticky notes, highlighters, and things for your binder to keep things in different sections are definitely gonna help you do that. So, that's all I got for you guys. If you guys found this information helpful, you already know the drill. Hit that like button below, and also share this content. If you think that this information can help anybody, friends, family, whatever, share it. Because sharing is caring. Also, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, well, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and then hit the alert button so you know the next time I upload or the next time I go live. And I do like to go live quite a bit. Till the next time, you guys, I guess I'll see you on the rails. Peace.